to this topic is to expressing vectors in terms of a unit vectors. Now, what is unit vectors? A unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1 with no units. Its only purpose is to point in space to describe the direction of that particle. Then, a unit vector is often denoted as the lowercase letter with a circumflex or carit or simply hat. So, whenever we encountered a letter that has a carit or hat above it, it is usually called as the unit vector. Like, for example, u hat. u hat means this is the unit vector of vector u. Then, if we have the arrowhead, we call this as vector u. Taking the absolute value of the vector u is the magnitude of vector u. Now, sometimes we are asked to normalize the vectors. So, if we, or if you ask to normalize the vector, then you are finding the unit vector of that vector. So, the unit vector of vector u is equivalent to the vector u itself divided by its magnitude. So, therefore, if you want to obtain this value, the unit vector u, all you need to do is to divide the vector u by its magnitude. And the result is the unit vector of vector u. So, if we are analyzing in three-dimensional box, then therefore, we have three axes. Axes. We have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. The unit vector assigned to the x-axis is i-hat, while the unit vector assigned to the y-axis is j-hat and k-hat for, for the z-axis, the third axis. Now, vectors in terms of unit vector. So, how will we express a vector in terms of unit vector? Remember, the unit vector assigned to x is i hat, then assigned to y is g hat, assigned to z is k hat. So, in this case, we have only two axes. So, therefore, expressing vectors in, in terms of unit vectors involves only i hat and j hat. Suppose we have a vector A. The magnitude is measured from tail to tip and the theta is the, the direction is coming from the x-axis theta. So suppose given the magnitude and direction, how will we express this unit vector in terms of unit vector? Now, all we need to do is to construct a line from tip of the vector A, then drop a vertical line projecting towards the x-axis and draw a horizontal line that strikes to the y-axis perpendicularly then therefore we can draw the components of vector A. There are two components of vector A. The component along x and the component along y. And the components are also a vector. So, they are all start at the tip of the, or the tail of the vector A. So, therefore, the x component is measured from the origin towards the intersected line from the, uh, the constructed vertical, vertical line towards the x-axis. So, meaning, from here to, to the intersected point, this is the x component of vector A. While the y component is measured from y towards the intersection point of the horizontal projection towards the y-axis. Call it as the vector component, the A vector component along y. 
So, therefore, vector A, geometrically, or in a vector sum, it should be the EX vector plus the Y vector. Reminders that the plus sign signifies this because the, the terms are vectors. The plus signs means it is the ge geometric sum, not an arithmetic sum. Okay, so therefore, we need to know how, how much AX and how much AY in terms of its component. I hat for X and the J hat for, for Y, uh, Y component. So, to do it is consider again a Cartesian, then construct again the vector A, then drop or this is the magnitude of the vector A and this is the direction. So, drop a line in order to create the component components of the vector A. The distance from 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 origin to the intersecting point line is the magnitude of EX. While in the Y comp Y component from from origin towards the intersecting point is the Y component of A. So this is the magnitude of the vector EX. EX is the magnitude of the vector EX, while AY is the magnitude of the vector AY. Now, remember that we need to incorporate the unit vector of, of the components. So, therefore, we must assign the I hat along X axis while G hat along the Y axis. And this is towards right means I hat is positive and since this is going upward, G hat must be positive. Opposite direction provides a negative sign. So what is AX and what is AY vector in terms of unit vector? The AX vector which is the right red line and the AY is the AY vector this one. So, EX is simply as the magnitude of A multiplied by the unit vector. Now, remember the unit vector, the magnitude is 1. So, if you multiply I with the magnitude of A, then we are only, only multiplying 1. So, what's the purpose of I? And what's the purpose of J? The purpose of I and J are to give direction in along x and along y respectively. So, ex, therefore, vector, is the magnitude of ex times i hat, while the ay vector, which is this one, is equal to the magnitude of ay times j hat. So, therefore, substituting these values ax and ay vector will provide us the value of, therefore, e vector a is ax i hat plus a y j hat. So therefore, this is how to express the vector a in terms of unit vector. But the question is, how will we calculate ax and a y magnitude if if given the magnitude of a and given the magnitude of uh, given the direction of theta? So. Take note that we need to consider a right triangle. So, our next is we have now the example in order to understand on how to express or solve for the components. So, this problem is to find the vector A in terms of, we are asked to express the vector A in terms of unit vectors. Then, next we need to find the equivalent unit vector of A. So, the equivalent unit vector A is to normalize the vector A. So, we can answer this one after solving the vector A in terms or expressing vector A in terms of unit vector. So, the given is, given the magnitude of, of, of A, which is equal to 100 newtons, 
and the direction is 65 from negative x axis and this is located in the second quadrant now what is vector a in terms of unit vector so notice that the component of this vector a is equal to negative ax negative because the component is going to the to the right side while ay is on left side where ay is moving upward so ex is negative ay vector is positive now assigning the unit vector here i have for 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 y axis so this is going to the left that's why negative then upward is positive j hat so substituting again the unit vector here so this is ax magnitude times negative i hat because going to the left side plus the ay vector multiplied by the j hat positive so therefore if if we have value of ex and we have value of ay we are already expressing a in terms of its unit vector i hat and j hat there is no k hat because we are only on the three dimensions two dimensions rather okay so what is ex and what is ay ax and ay can be obtained using the right triangle okay. notice that this is the vector if you construct a line vertically and horizontally then the intersected line here is the ex while this one is ay magnitude so we can form a right triangle where where this is the hypotenuse this is the ex component then this is ay component so ex is in the right triangle this is 100 which is the hypotenuse and this is adjacent ax is adjacent to the angle so the 100 which is the hypotenuse multiplied by the cosine of 65 degrees is equivalent to 42.26 while ay ay is in the opposite side so it should be opposite over hypotenuse solving for this then 100 sine 65 degrees is the component of ay which is 90.63 so therefore we have already the values for ex and ay then substitute these values and this is and remove the grouping symbol so we have the magnitude of a for the a in terms of unit vector negative 42.26 i hat plus 90.63 g hat this is the vector in terms of unit vector but remember in, in algebra there is no negative sign so we can take it out sign preceding so negative and we have the open parenthesis 42.26 i hat minus 90.63 g hat and the unit is newton because a is the magnitude of the vector a so therefore this must be newton now in in the next question you are asked to find the equivalent unit vector meaning what is the unit vector of vector a or simply the u the, the a hat now in order to find the unit vector of vector a is to use the normalization process the normalization process is actually finding the finding the equivalent vector unit vector of any vector so the process is if we divide this vector a by its magnitude then the result is the unit vector so therefore this is our vector and the magnitude is 100 so divide this by 100 or simply if we don't know the magnitude and we have this one so therefore all you need to do is to take the square root of the square of the component of a along x or ex this value we have to square this then 
square also the y component which is this one or this one and you can disregard the negative sign because when you square it the result is positive and there is no negative sign for the magnitude so consider everything as positive so square of ax square of ay take the sum take square root then divide the vectors by the result after simplifying this one then the answer is but take note this results to 100 so if this is not 100 or very far from 100 then this is not the vector based on the given so divide 100 then share denominator so 42 divided 100 is 0.4226 plus 90.63 divided 100 is 0.9063 jihad. So therefore, taking the negative sign out of the first term, so we have negative and the whole uh, is 0.4226 i hat plus 0.9063 jihad. Quantity Newton. This is the equivalent unit vector of vector A. Now, to verify whether this is correct or not, then all you need to do is to find the magnitude of this. Remember, to find the magnitude of any vector is to take the square root, just like this. And square this one, square this one, then add, then the result must be 1. Why? Or approximately equal to 1 depending on the rounding of numbers. Why is it 1? Because this is unit vector. Remember, by definition, a unit vector has a magnitude of 1. So, verify this one and you will arrive you will arrive a magnitude of 1. Another verification is, we have already verified that this is 100. Another verification is, verify if this is 65 degrees as the direction. So, in order to find the direction of, of this, uh, the 65, to verify, is to take the inverse tan, Ay, this is Ay, or this is, this is Ay, then divide by x. So, take the inverse tan, and the result is very close to 65. Also, this one. If you take inverse tan, then... This one divided by this one, the result is very close to 65 degrees. So, if that's the case, then uh, you are already expressing the vectors in terms of unit vector correctly. And we have also the correct unit vector equivalent of this vector A. So, that's all. Thank you.